Hey friends, as you know, I'm exploring using AI and since I used to be a programmer, I used to write Lisp and C and C++ code for AutoCAD back in the day. Uh, I started using AutoCAD when it first came out back in the um, mid 80s and um, grew up with the product and eventually went to work for Autodesk, the company that makes AutoCAD. And I did uh, developer support. So I used to code in Lisp and C and C++ and help developers. So I've always been interested in programming and uh, I kind of dabble in it now just kind of for fun. And one of the programming languages that I've always wanted to play with is this one here. It's called Processing. And it's a JavaScript library that allows you to create cool graphics and animate them. So since I haven't had the time to learn how to use processing myself, I figured I'd let ChatGPT help me write a program. So I'm going to try this out with you here. So let's try it. So I'm going to say, uh, can you write a program in p5.js, that's what processing code um, files are. And uh, can you write a program in p5.js that will draw a chessboard? Let's try that. So in a matter of seconds, you can see that ChatGPT knows what I'm talking about and writes out the code for drawing a chessboard. Now, can it write a full blown program with one question? No, but you could use ChatGPT to write different pieces of a program. So if you know what to ask for, then Basically, you don't need to write any code. You can have GPT write it for you. So I'm going to be exploring this more. So let's take a look at this code and see how it works. So I'm going to come over here to the uh, P5.js editor and I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to run it. Look at that. Done. You know how long it would have taken me to figure out how to do that? Well, ChatGPT did it in a matter of seconds. And then it told me about the program and, you know, what it does. So this kind of reminds me of back in the old days when calculators were first available, you know, when I was a kid. And they said, yeah, you can't bring a calculator to school with you because you won't learn how to do math. Well, now that ChatGPT is available... Um, people don't need to learn how to code. Uh, you can just ask AI to do it. Now, not only writing code, you can write pretty much anything you want. Um, you can write copy for your website. You can write um, procedures or pretty much anything. Anything that a human could write, AI could write it better. So AI is going to be part of your life, whether you know it or not. And if I were you, I would start getting familiar with it because that's what I'm doing. Uh, I have a great interest in programming, in photography, in filmmaking, uh, in editing, video. And I think AI is going to be a great... Um, asset in those areas. Now, just to kind of give you a little correlation, when I first started out in the engineering world, I graduated from high school and in high school I took drafting with a pencil and paper. And then immediately I went to work for Raytheon Missile Division and I worked on these big mainframe computer systems that took up whole buildings and I worked on the Patriot missile 
and I was drawing parts in 3D. And uh, after I left Raytheon, I went to work for an engineering company that had just gotten the first PC. It was a 286. And they bought AutoCAD, which was version 1 of AutoCAD. And I started learning it. And then the programming language of Lisp, AutoLisp, wasn't even part of it yet. So I saw drafting go digital. Right? It went from pencil and paper to computer-aided design and drafting. And then I got involved with photography also in high school. I took my first black and white photography class in high school. And years later, I went into photography full-time when it was converting from film to digital because I had already seen the transition from pencil and paper to computer-aided drafting, and now I was seeing the same transition from film to digital. So now we are seeing the transition from manually having to do things with knowledge in our brain to having AI help us do things. Now, if you thought computers made you productive, you know, when they first came out, you know, that, that was the big thing. Oh, yeah, computers are going to make you more productive. You know, that's what Bill Gates said, and that's what Steve Jobs said. They all said, oh, yeah, these computers are going to help you be more productive. Well, they really just gave us more to do. They didn't, you know, make us more productive necessarily. But now with AI, I think it's going to make us more productive, and I am looking forward to all the various ways that AI is going to help us in the future with creating art and creating um, movies and creating um, stories. I think it's, uh, I think it's going to be really cool. So stay tuned to my channel and um, see what else I come up with here. I am brewing some really cool stuff that I want to use uh, in films and art and um, if you like that kind of stuff then stick around hit the like button hit the subscribe button and keep on coming back all right